What's going on? And welcome back to some more of this how to beat Majora's Mask. In the last part, we learned the oath, the order. We basically beat Odawa. And in this part, however, Tattle basically has something to say to us. However, the best side the point. Cattle's basically apologizing for her role in our losing opponent. That Tattle's basically what our next stop is, and guess what? There's none other than if we uh, hit the air with our sword, there's the Deku Princess that we were trying to capture the whole time, that we were trying to rescue the whole time. Anyway, so the big so basically, we have to uh, k take the princess back to the Deku Gang. However, we need to get out of bottle because for some odd reason. This Deku can fit in a tiny bottle. Don't ask me because I did not design this game. And now that we're back at Woodfall, remember those 15 stray fairies that we got in the beginning of this temple? We are basically going to go back and then basically we're gonna go to that area we couldn't go to before. We're gonna go to that area where the heart piece was. I'm just going to soar there just to make it a tad bit easier to so take a little bit of a shortcut. Because I definitely know me some Majora's Mask and I play this game at, like I've said in multiple parts, I played this game at least once a year. I love me some Majora's Mask. It's definitely my favorite of the Zeldas in my opinion. Okay, we're going to uh, go into that hole because that's where the uh, Great Fairy is. And now that we have 15 Street Fairies, we can basically get the upgrade. This is why I strongly recommend getting all the Stray Fairies in the temple. And I recommend basically getting all the Stray Fairies in each temple. Anyway, here's the Fairies Fountain. So we're going to rescue the Great Fairy and get some more pointy Nintendo 64 boobs. In the, I would say it's definitely the worst of the upgrades we get. We just get a stronger uh, spin slash. So I'd say it's definitely the weakest. If there's any strike fairy upgrade you can skip, it's easily this one. Anyway, so remember the uh, princess that we rescued? We have to do that. We're gonna just uh, take the shortcut back from, uh, what am I saying, Woodfall over to uh, Southern Swamp. It's gonna be a tad bit easier. That's where we got the heart piece before. I love how I'm pointing out the obvious in some of these parts, like, um, I just try, it's like, um, I try to find, like, a unique, like, uh, way of doing, like, edited Let's Plays and all that. I'm trying to find a unique way of doing, like, edited Let's Plays and all that, because, like, nowadays it's all basically just raw, unedited content. I want to see what's in that chest. I think it's 20 rupees. And yeah, it's 20 rupees, so that's pretty nice, like it says. 
I'm not gonna get another rupee upgrade for a while, though. I can't really stop carrying any amount of rupees. Anyway, so now we're going back to Southern, not Southern Swamp, the uh, Deku Palace. Okay, so we're gonna put, we're basically gonna put out the Deku Princess and uh, these things are gonna say the exact same thing as before because they never change dialogue. And the monkey's about to get executed. Pun I like how saying punishment, punishment. And if we put out the Deku Princess, we're not gonna, we can't do it here, but if we put it right in front of the Deku's face. And now the monkey's freed. So now we actually have access to an area in Deku Palace we didn't before. So we might as well go and do that. It's to get a mask. So if you're doing an all mask, so I recommend doing this part anyway because, like, I would, I, I'm gonna elaborate this later. But if you do, even if you're not doing 100, percent I still recommend getting all the masks. Anyway, so if you try going there earlier, an oct a big octo will basically uh, block it. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut footage, but basically, um, there's none of the instance of like the six. I had this took multiple takes. So uh, basically, what we're doing is that uh, the, the successful take is the take you see in the video. I try. I'm gonna try to make this that case as much as possible because I don't really want to have my viewers watch me fail for like 30 minutes. It's like, it's fine if you're doing live commentary, it's, it's just boring when you're, watching po when you're doing post commentary and you're basically just like, you're basically watching yourself fail over and over and over again. Like, yeah, I get, you get it, you can't do this area. I would just recommend just spinning with Digger Mask. It's easier if you have the bunny hood, but we don't have the bunny hood yet. So yeah, we just have to follow the Deku Battle, and we're just gonna put the uh, Deku Mask on. There are these, uh, thing, there are these Deku things, they're not gonna attack us. Yeah, it's another reason I recommend the Deku Mask, you're gonna skip all this water. Make sure you don't drown, though. And so you, you kind of want to pay attention where there's a fork road, where he's going. Yeah, don't make, make sure you don't get caught, caught, caught on fire with Deku Link because that counts as a lost heart. Every time you fail this, you lose a heart, I should also point out. And there's a little uphill thing. And we want to get our bow for this part because we need to uh, get rid of. We basically need to after a switch. Hey. 
You know, so now we gotta put back on Dicky Mask and we should be almost done. I think it's just one more. Uh, actually, we're done! Yeah. Anyway, so we're actually out of uh, We got the uh, Mask of Sense. So, uh, I'm gonna sign off this commentary. So, uh, next time on Majora's Mask, we'll do one more side quest. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Yeah.